Hey, I'm Kez Bracey. This is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma handoff and testing tips. When it comes time to go through the handoff process and start coding up a design, if you look in the code tab, you'll find that there's all kinds of code that can be automatically generated for you. With an item selected, you'll be able to see CSS code, iOS code, and Android code. You can generate code and have it put directly into your cache so that it's ready for pasting into your project. To select an object, go up to File, Copy As, and then from here, you can either copy the CSS that's styling the content, you can copy any raw text as text that you can put into your HTML or whatever other code type you're working with. Or if you have an illustration, you can choose Copy as SVG. So I'm just going to copy this as text really quickly, and then it's ready for me to paste directly into my code editor. When you need to start testing your layouts for mobile devices, you can try out Figma Mirror app, which will take the design that you're working on and it will show it to you in your mobile device. So you can make sure that everything looks how you expect it to. The app is called Figma Mirror and it's available on Android and iOS. You can also use Figma Mirror in the browser. Go to figma.com slash mirror hyphen app. Then in the same browser, open up the document that you're working on and select one of the frames that you have directly on the canvas. So not a nested frame, but a top level frame. Then when you go back to the mirror app, it will load up that frame in the browser based mobile emulator. You can check on your vector graphics before they're exported to see how they're going to look as raster graphics. All you have to do is make sure nothing in your document is selected. That will give you access to the universal settings for the document. Then go up and hit pixel preview and you'll see a preview of how the corners and the edges and what have you are going to be turned into pixels. By default, that's going to give you a one times pixel density preview, but you can also change that to two times so that you can get a preview of how it's going to look on Retina and other high DPI devices. So that's five tips to help you with handoff and testing in Figma. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.